I really enjoyed performing on the Beauty of Shared Arts program and the stage was so beautiful. Angkor Pat is dedicated to our beautiful temple that is one of the wonders of the world. China has made a lot of efforts to send specialists and help Cambodia restore many parts of the temples. We are very grateful for that. I also cooperated with the Chinese children's choir who were so cute and talented. I had such a wonderful experience and um, I actually also kept the gift from one of the children because it made me so happy. Uh, you can see it's with me now. Nostalgia of China is a song that my great-grandfather, the King Sehanu, wrote about his affection towards the country. Um, singing this song was a way for me to honor his legacy and convey the emotions he felt. It was actually at all a lot of pressure for me to sing the song, and I was feeling quite nervous. I didn't really know how to attach myself to the feeling of the music, but my recent visits to China made me understand. I can really feel feel the warmth and the kindness of the country. It really humbled me, and I understood more why he loved this wonderful country so much. Wearing a traditional Khmer dress and singing the song, it was my way to signify the bond between China and Cambodia, as well as my own appreciation for the friendship between the two nations. <laughs> Um, I grew up speaking Khmer, English, and French, but in the past two years, I began learning Thai and Chinese, but I was really drawn to the Chinese culture. Watching Chinese movies and listening to Chinese music really made me fall in love with the language. But it was very hard for me to speak and listen Chinese because I didn't really have enough people to have daily conversations with. However, these recent trips to China has really energized me to learn the language more. Especially, I have some idols I really love in China, like Zhao Lusi. One of my favorite movies is um, Head and Love, and um, I hope to get to meet her in the future. I got the chance to be a part of a few events in China. It really made me understand why China is so successful. I had to adapt to the fast-paced working environment and making everything perfection to the last second. It was really hard for me, but it taught me a lot. I'm impressed with the work ethic and professionalism. It was an honor for me to have so much support and I enjoyed being in China and I hope to have more opportunities to come back. For me, I only wanted more people to love Cambodia and the more I started to learn about China, the more I fell in love with the country, the people and the culture. I believe that the, the relationship between Cambodia and China has always been strong since Ngovot times. The stories are carved on our temple's walls, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. It is great to have exchange of culture, and it has had many impact to Cambodian people's lives, that everyone is starting to learn the Chinese language. This wouldn't happen if there wasn't a positive impact to us. I myself is also working hard to improve my Chinese as well as enjoying a lot of Chinese dramas, movies, and music. And it was also great to see Cambodian's fruits in Chinese grocery stores. I hope that we can continue to build closer relationships between the two nations and learn more from each other. I am really happy to be a part of it.